I'm so sorry. She was far too young. What age was she? Forty-three. She was forty-three when oh, she died. Yeah, I know it's rubbish. It's too. It's too young. It really is. Tell me about her. What was she like? Oh, she's a brilliant person. She's a very warm person. She was funny. She worked in the NHS the best part of twenty-five years. She was a tough person, but a really kind, caring, great, great wife, great mum. Lovely. She was brilliant. When did you notice, or she noticed, that something wasn't quite right? Because the trouble with this illness is. The symptoms, it's like called, it's not called the silent killer for nothing. The symptoms are quite hard to spot. It is difficult to spot. Ruth had, uh, she felt a little bit nauseous, a little right. bit full. They're both uh, common symptoms. Um, she, a urine turned yellow. Now, we're both endurance runners. That happens quite a lot with us because you're right, dehydrated. But then her eyes went yellow and her skin went a bit yellow and she started suffering from jaundice. Um, other symptoms she didn't have were abdominal pain, the stomach, in the back. Right. She didn't have sudden weight loss at that point. Okay. Uh, and she didn't have sudden onset um, diabetes. Um, but with the ones that she had, she went to the doctors with the jaundice and um, he was a bit concerned about it. Mm. Uh, bilirubin levels were very high. And uh, he said she could have uh, an ultrasound within a couple of weeks. Right. She was very concerned about this. She practically broke the internet on <laughs> searching course, the symptoms. Yeah. And she, she <laughs> saw that pancreatic cancer was an option. And it, despite the fact she didn't smoke and she was fit and young and, and you know, at a good weight. Um, and so uh, we went to the, on Halloween uh, in 2015, we went to the local hospital and she signed herself in and she got an ultrasound there at the hospital then. Oh, Tony, so, so hard. And of course, you've got kids. Yeah. How on earth do you tell your kids? Were you always very open with them from the start? Yeah, we were really open. I mean, we had a couple <laughs> of weeks where we didn't know what was really going on. They didn't know yeah. if it was cancer or if it was a benign tumour. She had a stent fitted to relieve the jaundice. She had a biopsy taken. That, that's the procedure at the time. And, uh, and then we were told in no uncertain terms by the gastroenterologist there that um, it was inoperable. Um, third stage cancer, the head of the pancreas, that uh, if they did operate, she'd bleed out on the table. Um, and uh, we knew the prognosis, it was six to 12 months. Only 20% of people live beyond the year. Only, out of 100 people, 93 people will be dead after five years. So it, it was, it was a, a terrible prognosis. And we went home, and obviously we had to tell the kids. Oh, but at absolutely. the same time, Ruth's a fit person. Of the people who are going to do well, hopefully right. she would be one of those people. Sure, She's sure. a positive person. Of course, of course, you have to be. You have to be. You must miss her so much. Oh, of yes, course, yeah. you must all the time. Yeah. But part of part of what she wanted, because she wanted it, her death to mean something. Exactly. And this is why that you want to make sure that more people are aware of this horrible, horrible disease. Yeah, people need to know about those symptoms that Absolutely. I talked about earlier. Absolutely. If we can diagnose... The problem is, where your pancreas is, it's very deep in your body, yeah, behind yeah. your stomach, near your liver, and what happens is, when the tumour grows in the head of the pancreas, there's arteries and veins involved. This is why the bile duct closed, and you can't operate often. In Ruth's case, an artery was here, and it was 180 degrees around it, so they wouldn't operate here. Right. In the end, we went to Germany, and she had an operation in Germany, um, which potentially anybody who lives beyond five years of people who've had this Whipple operation. Yeah. Uh, as it was, the tumour spread, uh, the cancer spread within a couple of months. But that early diagnosis is yeah. essential. If we can get that, more people can be operated on. Pancreatic Cancer UK this year uh, funded a, a pathway in a Birmingham hospital where they're bypassing the stent being fitted, yeah. they're going straight in with the operation. It's saving the NHS over £3,000 per person, which matters. Also, people are living longer. Yeah. We've got to get that rolled out over the whole country. Absolutely, of course we do. And are you finding that work is helping you personally? Do you find that? Because, uh, you know, it's a family in Emmerdale where everybody yeah, says yeah, that yeah. and it's true. Have you found that helping you a It's little a great bit? diversion to be at work, number one. Yeah. Two, work were brilliant. We knew that how lucky we both were uh, with our employers. ITV have been fantastic with me, I can't tell you. You know, there were storylines where I should have been in them, where I had to say, look, I can't come in tomorrow. You know, I had to say, look, we can't, I'm going to Germany for a we going to have an operation. I might be there a month. You know, and they were like, look, that's real life. Don't worry, we'll sort it out. That's Ruth was the same, and we both acknowledge how difficult it must be for people who don't have understanding employers. Mm. Yeah, that's true. 
because that's when it makes it very, very hard. Yeah. But I think what you're doing is amazing. I really do. I think it's 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 really good and it's really really important. Um, for, because when you lose somebody, you have to try somehow to, to somehow to get something, even a glimmer of hope or, or a glimmer of light, really. Well, one, it's difficult to get information. If you, everybody tells you something, people go on the internet for half an hour, yeah, oh, yeah. you must try this, you I must know. try that. You get you know, bombarded, don't you? Well, you do get bombarded and you need someone to say, look, that works, that doesn't, that doesn't. Ruth went to the charity, Pancreatic Cancer UK, they have support nurses there, she sent a list of emails with these questions. Does this work? Does that work? Does that work? And they sent back impartial advice to right. her. It was absolutely invaluable. Need. There were forums that she went on where she got great information as well. And she was really keen on fundraising. We've got a quiz together called the Big Purple Quiz, which all you do, you go on the website, you download it, and you put it on locally. It spreads, it's not all about cancer, don't worry. It spreads a bit of awareness, it's raises great. a bit of money to pay for this important research that's going on. Fantastic. Do you know what what you were just talking about there? We'll stick all of that on our website. Brilliant. There's lots more information there as well. Tony, thank you for coming in. I really, really appreciate it. I know it's not easy, but thank you very much. And, and good luck to you with the work that you're doing. Thank you. Thank you.